Hello viewers, welcome to our Remarkable Finance channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updated with our new videos. As we go through the video for today, the history of money, it also comes to mind the history of mankind's livelihood activities. How did they buy what they needed? What did they use to buy and get their commodities? We wonder how the people centuries ago went on shopping for their food and grocery items. Watch the video until the end to discover how the ancient people lived and started with exchanging gold and how it evolved to paper money and become digital in form. Throughout history, the usage and form of money have had many changes. According to some theories, money is an intangible or indescribable concept while currency is the physical appearance of the money. Money cannot be touched or smelled and the basic form is numbers. Currency is the coin, note, or object that is presented in the form of money. The present basic form of currency is paper notes, coins, or plastic cards, or should we call it credit or debit cards or a string of code electronically done by computer doesn't have a value. Yes, it doesn't have a value unless it is backed up by funds. The total global value currently estimated to be around $420 trillion depends on the importance that people place on it as a medium of exchange, a unit of measurement and a storage for wealth. What is money? There are six descriptions of money. First, unit of account. Second, communicate the price of goods. Third, allow people to trade goods and services indirectly. Fourth, provides individual to store their wealth. Fifth, socially accepted standards by which things are priced. The last one, acceptable payment for goods and services six characteristics of sound money are number one durable gold doesn't rust or decay number two handy cash is easy to carry gold in large amounts is hard to transport number three divisible u.s dollars can be broken down into five two or one dollar bill or cents for small purchases number four fungible a dollar is a dollar no more no less while a basket of apples is not fungible as they vary in quantity and quality number five scarce money needs to have a limited supply to ensure the purchasing power remains stable number six acceptable the more people adopt a currency, the easier it will be to spend. Transition from bartering to currency Money has been part of human history for at least the past 5,000 years. Before that time, historians generally agree that a system of bartering was likely used. What is bartering? Before money was available, People bought and exchanged goods through bartering. It is the exchange of one specific good with another good. Here is an example. A landowner has a horse. His neighbor has a dog. The owner of the horse will surely not agree to get the dog in exchange of the horse. Naturally, the horse has a much higher value than the dog. So that's the problem with bartering of goods between a farmer with crate of apples and a shoemaker with pair of shoes. The farmer may want t-shirt in exchange for apples, not a pair of shoes. Barter or trade is not possible between them. There should be a mutual want, or both of them wanting the available goods so that the trade can happen. Let's go to types of money. The complicated exchange in bartering has resulted to the invention of money. There were different types of money used in each particular country. Cowrie shells in West Africa. 
giant stones on the Yap Islands and clamshells in North America. Ancient Chinese coinage includes some of the earliest known coins in 772-476 BCE. It was in the form of imitations of cowrie shells as in West Africa. The same period, first metal coins were knife-shaped or spade-shaped. The Gold Currency Gold is the most long-term form of currency. People in China and South America used gold as currency. It was used as a medium of exchange in Egypt. Then it was adopted as legal tender by China in 1091 BC. However, gold is not handy. It is very heavy to carry. Second, there is no assurance as to the purity or weight of gold offered. Counterfeiters would melt the gold and add a cheaper metal to mix to increase the weight of gold. Aside from gold, a type of currency developed over the centuries. It involves easily traded items like animal skins, salt, and weapons. It served as medium of exchange. The value of each item was still negotiable due to the difference in quantity and quality. Paper money Paper money is the solution to the problem of gold. Jiao Tu was a form of promissory note which appeared around 11th century in Sichuan, Chengdu, China. It is regarded as the first paper money in history. It represents the gold or silver or other commodities in place of currency. Paper was used that entitled the holder to the amount of the currency. Paper was easy to carry from place to place. Banks eventually started using paper banknotes for depositors and borrowers to carry around in place of metal coins. The notes can be taken to the bank anytime and exchange services for their face value in metal, usually silver or gold coins. The paper money could be used to buy goods and services. It operated much like currency does today. Back then, it was issued by banks and private institutions, not the government. Nowadays, the government issues the currency in most countries. First official currency is minted. During the 6th century BCE, Greek poet Xenophanes ascribed the invention of metal coins to the Lydians. In 600 BCE, Lydia's king Aleates minted the Lydian stator, what is believed to be the first official currency. The coins were made from electrum, a mixture of silver and gold. The coins were stamped with pictures that acted as denominations. During that time, a clay pot might cause an owl and two snake coins. Many scholars agree that a Lydian kingdom was the first to produce metallic coinage in 7th century BC. Lions are a common design of the coins. A sample of the coin in a 2010 auction sold for $220 with a coin and bull design. Another lion design coin was sold for $7,250 in a 2014 heritage auction. Transition to Paper Currency Around 700 CE, the Chinese moved from coins to paper money. At that time, Marco Polo, the Venetian merchant, traveled through Asia, visited China. The emperor had a grip on both money supply and various money denominations, where American bills say, In God, we trust. The Chinese caption at that time was, those who are counterfeiting will be decapitated. Global Reserve Currency After the Second World War, the Western powers, Japan and Australia set out to redesign the global monetary system. Negotiations were finalized in 1944 in Bretton Woods Resort in New Hampshire, resulted in a quasi-gold standard. The U.S. dollar would serve as the global reserve currency and can be exchanged for gold at the rate of $35 per ounce. 
In 1971, an ounce of gold was $35. Today, the same weight amount to $1,800. We do not know which caused the difference. Is it the gold or the dollar? Fiat Currencies After the Nixon shock, the global monetary system lost being tied to gold. This Nixon shock refers to the series of measures undertaken by U.S. President Richard Nixon in 1971 to cope with increasing inflation. The most significant was the cancellation of the direct international convertibility of the U.S. dollar to gold. From 1971 until the present day, money has been backed by the faith and trust in the government issuing the money. Fiat is a Latin word, let it be done, in English words. Fiat money derives its value from a government decree supported by the power of the government and its stable economy. As a result, economically stable and strong countries have increased demand for currencies than countries with poor governance or low productivity. For instance, the Kuwaiti dinar is equals to 3.29 US dollars while currencies of third world developing countries have very low value compared to the US dollars. Digital money. Extensive money printing by central banks has set the stage for the next monetary technology. The largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin was born in the 2008 great financial crisis. Bitcoin is a form of digital cash that has no interference of the bank or government. It has no person or group that controls the currency. Bitcoin is a rules-based system without rulers. It is a friend-to-friend -friend electronic exchange, sending money directly to each other without a middleman. There's end our video for today. The history of money from bartering to banknotes to Bitcoin has significantly evolved over the years. From gold, paper to digital, money transactions have become very easy with digital method. Debit and credit cards have made people's life uncomplicated when it comes to purchases of goods as well as payment for services. Money and currency seem to be confusing and often used interchangeably. Simply said, we can put it this way for clarification. How much money do you have? Money then refers to the number or amount. What currency? It could be dollars or euros. The value of the currency in a specific foreign country differs, but the dollar remains the most stable currency in the world. We will see you next time on Remarkable Finance. We upload videos every other day. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share with us your thoughts on money and currency on the comments below. We will be glad to read and reply to your comments. Check out other videos from our Remarkable Finance channel. Thanks for watching. Arrivederci.